everybody and welcome back to Akshata's Recipes. Well, keeping with the Christmas theme, today I'll be showing you naan katais, which are also called Christmas cookies. Now, every household has their own take or their own recipe of naan katais. I'm going to be using my recipe, which is of course my mom's recipe from her lovely Christmas cookbook. And uh, I'm going to be using just three ingredients also. This recipe is completely wedge and it is really, really delicious. So I hope you like this recipe and if you do, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also guys, I have uploaded a load of Christmas recipes. So all you need to do is go to Akshita's recipes and once you come to my home page, there's something called playlist. Go to my playlist and there you can just search Christmas or on my homepage, there's a little small little search button. Just type Christmas and you'll get all the Christmas recipes. Most of them are traditional Goan recipes like Gorba cheese and milk cream and marzipan and nuri, skulkals. And of course some more, uh, you know, keeping in today's theme with walnut and chocolate fudge. Then there's the Ferro Rocha chocolates. And I'm going to be coming up with much, much more too. So stay tuned to Akshita's recipes for a load, load, load of recipes. And if you want to stick around, then don't forget to hit the red subscribe button that you see just below this video. And once you have subscribed, do not forget to click the little golden bell. So every time I put up a new video on my channel, you'll get a notification of the same. So guys, let's head on to my kitchen and start making these naan katais or Christmas cookies. So friends, now we are going to take about 250 grams of all-purpose flour or maida. So here I am measuring it to exactly 250 grams. Now we are going to need 125 grams of icing sugar or caster sugar. Then we are going to use 100 grams of ghee or clarified butter. Now I've lined my baking tray with some butter paper or some parchment paper. In a large mixing bowl, I'm going to first take my ghee or clarified butter and I'm going to whisk it for about 5 minutes. You can use an electric whisk too. Now after whisking it for about 5 minutes, I am going to now add all the icing sugar and I am going to whisk this for about 10 minutes till everything becomes very light and fluffy. This is very very important because these make the Christmas cookies or the naan katais really light and fluffy and airy. So you can set a timer for about 10 to 15 minutes and whisk this very very well. You will see that it changes its color too to a little pale white. Now, after our ghee and sugar is mixed very well, we are going to slowly add in the maida or the all-purpose flour a very little bit at a time. Again, mixing it as we go along. So as you add the maida, just mix it. And 
and once we put in all of our all purpose flour we are going to use our hands and we are going to knead this till it becomes a very nice soft dough now if you feel that your mixture is a little on the drier side you can just add a little bit more of ghee till you get a nice soft mixture now we can let our mixture sit and rest for some time for about 10 minutes in the meantime you can heat preheat your oven at 150 degrees celsius for 10 minutes now we are going to take a teaspoon because then we get an exact measure and we are going to take this amount and roll it out into a smooth ball and then we are going to flatten it a bit and give it a nice shape so it looks like a nice naan katai or a christmas cookie and we are going to place it on our baking tray so in this way we are going to roll out all of the dough and make the naan katais or the cookies I'm just decorating it with some nice mistletoe. You can put whatever Christmas decoration you want. You can even put little cherries. You can put the little Christmas uh, silver balls. And now we're going to bake it in our preheated oven at 150 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes. So once they go into the oven here comes the beautiful christmas cookies or the naan katais don't they look gorgeous and they taste delicious too they're really soft and powdery and very very light so friends i hope you enjoyed watching this recipe i hope you gave it a try do let me know in the comments box below as to how you liked this recipe Do share my recipes with family and friends and if you haven't yet hit the red subscribe button then please do and join the Akshita's recipes family once you have subscribed do not forget to click the little golden bell that you will see below the video so that every time i upload a new video you will get a notification of the same do like my recipes and please don't forget to visit my channel i have almost i have more than 200 recipes and i have so many christmas recipes uploaded and i will be coming up with many many more too so i hope you enjoyed this recipe and i hope you stay tuned to akshita's recipes keep watching and i'll see you all in another video and thank you so much for stopping by akshita's recipes and watching take care guys and i'll catch you in my next video bye